So for the Two of Wands, Mars and Aries, Master of Fate, keys are combative energies demanding balance, channeling. A horned, faceless woman stands up on the stands on top of a hill at dusk. Lightning strikes all around her. There are formidable powers. There is a formidable formidable power to this card. And its implication implications are strong. There may be tension and conflict due to the dynamic energies at the present time. In order to channel the energies properly, we must demand balance and be as centered as possible at this time. It is advised to not allow any forces, human or otherwise, to come and disturb this precious balance. Um, let's... Let's lest conflict conflict arise okay shadow one may be feeling off balance the active energies at work here require grounding visualize it visualize yourself as an ancient tree with deep roots down into the center of the earth no storm can bring you down a mantra for this card i am calm within the storm and the master of my energy. <clears throat> now this is a mood right now. So it's definitely in alignment as far as the energy, um, the cosmic energy around me at this time. It seems like it's conflicting what I feel, which is centered. Though things may not look like it's in my favor, it really is. And I'm in a balanced state right now. Um, even with my children in the household, I've become and even more intentional, even more patient, even more calm in this fasting time. Because it's 21 day, each is so sexy journey and challenge is in fact a fast when one has especially been eating, um, the dead um so this is a cleanse and a purge and while being so it's wonderful and good to be and best to be very intentional and balanced so that's the two of wands and this is me reading myself by the way ten of swords the other card Sun and Moon and Gemini, Hall of Distorted Mirrors, Key. Fear of one's own anger, fearing insanity, spiraling negatively. Neg negativity. Okay. Four snakes in a corridor encroach upon a central spiral. Okay. The card reflects... An uncomfortable state of mind, feeling upset, depressed, angry, agitated, or in our skin. The walls feel like they are closing in and we feel like giving up. We may, fe we may be fearing our own sanity and feeling like lashing out. During these times, like during times like the these, we have to look at what we can control. Our own perspective, the mind is a slippery thing. But with much practice, we can learn to tame the untamed beast. Shadow to this card. You're beginning to move beyond detrimental states of mind. Comfort may be returning to the landscape of your inner world. You have begun, begun to assimilate the shadow self. Hmm. Mantra. I invite calming energy into my mind. I have confidence, confidence in my mental wellness. I oh, sure. That was a definite read for myself. Definite read for myself. Very much in alignment. Beautiful spread. Beautiful imagery. And very much <clears throat> on point. So. I want to ask what the collective is on, what I can give 
or offer to the collective in this cosmic energy that I feel outside in this Libra season. What is Libra season giving? What is Libra season giving for the collective? What can the collective um, look forward to in this season? What is it that we should be mindful about in this Libra season energy? Libra season. Okay, we'll do that. A little bit more insight. Okay, we can stop here. No, no. Let's do three. Given a lot of dark, which makes sense, but a lot of eyes, a lot of spiraling in the mind. So we got the Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles in this Libra season. Let's see what it's talking about. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. Self-realization. Keys of pride, wisdom, finding a way to give, finding a way, giving and receiving. Okay. A woman stands proudly upon a canal in the middle of the desert she can take her own oasis with her whenever wherever she goes because she has cultivated this resource through creativity passion independence and uh tenancy we have done a lot of work to get where we are and we should feel proud however we need to also accept the creator that the creator comforts also need to accept that the creator comforts we have accumulated oh the creature comforts that we have accumulated along the way won't serve us forever we will need to let go in time shadow you may need to be reminded of the virtue of being selfless as a part of the cycle of giving and receiving Let's read this again. You may need to be reminded of the virtue of being selfless as a part of the cycle of giving and receiving. Sometimes we can find ourselves waiting for life to provide us with our needs without paying our dues. The more you perform acts of selflessness, the more you will receive them in return. A mantra, I live in service of the whole. Oh, shay. Libra season is giving if you want that balance you better give that balance you better put something out to receive that's balance that's how you get it stop asking for things from beings and and realms um and you're not even putting in an offering to the whole to the collective to source to others so be mindful of asking of all these things and it's just like hold on what are you doing and when you do do it don't do it with the intention to get back do it with a pure heart because that's how you get it back i know it sounds tricky but that's how the universe responds that's how the universe responds now one moment wait it's getting quiet i was going okay Seven of Swords. Okay, Moon and Aquarius. Pesky influences. Keys. Interfering thoughts, exhaustion, negative expectations. 
All right. The central eye of the awakening self is distracted by pesky negative thoughts represented by six sleepy eyes. Perhaps, perhaps we are feeling we don't deserve our success. Perhaps we are feeling like imposters. Okay, I see why it's moon and Aquarius. Uh, this card is asking us to credit ourselves for our achievements and reduce our negative thinking. Shadow, you may be allowing the devils on your shoulder to whisper too loudly in your ear without giving audience to any of the positive voices. The negative voices amplify if we give them attention. Do not give them control. A morning meditation routine with, in, with the intention of soothing and integrating the shadow self will be would be beneficial. I listen, a mantra for this card, I listen to the guidance of my loving thoughts. One moment. Guys! 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 Quiet! I'm recording and I know when I play this back, I'm not going to really be happy, but I'm going to keep going. Be quiet. Quiet. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Union of elements, magic, as above, so below. That's balance right there. It's beautiful. Libra season. Okay. Upright meaning. A Mayan pyramid rises and assimilates with the rings of a spiral galaxy. The pyramid represents the physical body and the cosmic ring, uh, rings represent spirit. No longer at odds, the body and the spirit arrive together in unison and reflect each other perfectly. Body, mind, heart, and spirit. Earth, air, water, and fire. All flow together in harmony. We may experience um, elated, elation and deep contentment, which if properly uh, nurtured, can become our natural condition. Ooh, ooh, mm, it's hidden, it's given, it's given. Okay, Libra season, mm, it's going. Okay, it's getting. <laughs> It's hitting me right now because the work going to be getting done, okay? The work is going to be getting done. And we cannot allow that shadow, dark, um, I won't even say shadow dark, but that devil on the shoulders, that imposter syndrome, none of that. Stop where we're going, okay? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We've come too far for all of that. Come too far to let yourself hold you back. Okay. So shout out to the Ace of Pentacles is perhaps you are not ready to feel whole. We are always ready to emerge from the shell we have created. And sometimes that shell is there for a very good reason. Okay. Perhaps you are not ready to feel whole. We are not always ready to emerge from the shell we have created and sometimes the shell is there for a very good reason so there's that for whoever needed that but some of us is ready to get to hell up out of that shell that we created for ourselves and expand it's giving expansion and balance okay a mantra for this card is i am one with the elements and grow as i need to and that was a beautiful read as far as like in my room because everything is in alignment. Everything is in alignment. Okay. I'm going to pull from this oracle sigil book to see what we can utilize um during this libra season okay let's see 
what energies we can take with us and flow with for this Libra season. Because mm -hmm. we're going to clear out the energy. All right. Sleeper season. Sun. Okay, but of course, oh, but of course, oh, but of course, okay, why not, why not be, let's see what the void is giving us, okay, because a void is a beautiful space anyways, it's a place of infinity, okay, it's a place of Clarity. It's a place to flow. It's a flow state. The O is infinite. Ooh. All right. So what is the void giving? All right. The void is like the tarot uh, tarot reference card tower. Okay. The essence of this card is open in the abyss. Nothing. Something. Potential. Okay, tabula rasa. Okay, beginning of all, a new. I added that a new. Okay, the sigil, meaning a circle, simple yet the fundamental symbol of the infinite loop of creation, destruction, and the link to begin all over again. Circles are portals, channels, tunnels. Circles present birth. And with the void, we are entering the great unknown. Okay, this card is, uh, this is a card of utmost potential and yearning to make something out of infinite possibilities before us. All of the building blocks are available to us in the void, everything that was, is, and over, and ever will be, is that is here. Excuse me. The universe has given birth to us, and now it is up to us to express our divinity using the vehicle of this body to create what we wish. Mm. Wow. I literally just said this in a post as far as you lack nothing and remembering that sometimes the most high will, I said the most high, I have to look at it, I said um, the collective it was three three things that I said test us and we forget that we are that. We are that. We embody it. We are extensions of it. So um there's that. It's just all in alignment. It's so many thoughts hitting me at once. It's just hitting. There's no hit. Okay? Suggestion. Use this symbol of a circle to remind you of the cycles of fullness. Of all things great and small, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Let this symbol remind you that you are within an endless cycle of birth, life, and death. 
What you manifest during any part of this cycle is up to you. But use deep the deep passion for existence to push you to make the utmost, to make the most profoundly beautiful impact on all around you while you can. Manifestation mantra. Out of the depths of the void comes my truth. That was amazing. Okay, Libra season. Okay, girl. We can do that. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how you give balance. The saying thank you after a reading. Stop taking it and then let ego say, I'm on point. I'm on point. Nah, 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 nah. How about you say thank you for, you know, thank you for that confirmation, that information, you know, and then consume that information, embody that information, utilize that information to transform as reminders, channel it, take it with you for the week, for the month, for the season, okay? Because the Most High already gave you what you needed to know. So use that for your utmost expansion. So thank you. Air and water in the mouth. We are going to realize that you are the altar. You are the altar. You need the altar. Because you are the altar. You are the altar. You are the altar. You know you embody like crystal, crystals within your body. Mm -hmm. crystalline beings you are all the elements as I believe it just said in that reading <sighs> anyways that was that peace